CSU Rams football in the bold new era led by first-year head coach Jim McElwain. Welcome to the Ram Report with Jim McElwain. Touchdown, Colorado State, and CSU is going to win this thing. Hi and welcome to another edition here of the Ram Report as we come to you inside Coe's BMW in Loveland. Brian Roth with you along with the head coach of the CSU Rams as Colorado State coming off their first loss of the season, a 22-7 setback to North Dakota State. And, and coach, uh, I know losses are always tough and I know you probably felt your team would come out and play a little better than they did on Saturday. Yeah, and I'm really disappointed. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed for the fans, I'm disappointed for our student body and, and our faculty, but uh, you know, every time we go out, there, there's something to be learned. And, uh, you know, you, you can sit and, and, and worry about it, and, or you can learn from it and move forward. And, and the thing we need to do is understand that the process and, and what, is, what it takes to be a champion, what it takes for excellence on a daily basis. And, and you know, take nothing away from, from that North Dakota State team. They, they, they did a great job. They controlled the line of scrimmage. Uh, they won third down, time of possession, all the things that championship teams do. And they played like champions, like they were a year ago. And, and you know, the important thing here is what do we learn from it and, and what direction do we go? So um, I'll have a way to get them back. It was a beautiful Saturday evening in Ford Collins as we take you out to Sunny Lubick Field at Hughes Stadium for the highlights. get a work for the shotgun here on first down. Wants to throw for the first time. Steps up, fires wide open. Gilmore at the 50. He has room at the 40, to the 30. Gilmore to the 20. Being tracked down to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Colorado State! Crockett Gilmore, his first catch of the season. And the Rams have an early 6 to nothing lead. Knocking on the door at the Rams' 6-yard line. Ball spotted the near hash. This is O'Jury running left side. Has a crease. He's in to the end zone for six. So Kadodiak is to boot it away from his own 15. He'll get a clean one away. High spiraling kick. And Williams all the way drifting back to his own 19. Returnable. Straight ahead. Williams has it to the 25-30. Broke a tackle. He's in the clear of the near side midfield. 45-40. 35-30. Williams with one man to beat. And he just did get tripped up. Fourth and go to go from the one. Bullhouse backfield behind Jensen, turns, gives, Crockett did not get it. He's held short, and the Ram defense has stood tall. They needed that after really being ground down. He stopped in the end zone, it's a safety. On back is Crockett, Jensen to throw, going to dump it underneath Crockett, wide open at the five, he'll waltz into the end zone, touchdown. Jensen, play fake, looking to go deep, now into pressure, and down he goes. It was Shaquille Barrett. So that'll end the first half of play. After 30 minutes, it's the Bison 19. Colorado State, seven. Jensen takes a snap, throws, slant, ball caught, ball loose on the turf. Colorado State says they have it. For CSU at their own 25 yard line. Straight up the middle, it'll be Hansley. Has it on the right side to 30. Broke a tackle out to the 35. 22 to seven, North Dakota State with the lead. Empty set for Grayson. Grayson retreats, steps up in the pocket, pump fakes, now he's gonna run at the 40, and ran into the official at the 43. Grayson throws short underneath, Charles Love at midfield, into Bison territory, fourth and 10 for CSU. Grayson will retreat, he's under pressure, and down he goes. We knew they were good, and we have not seen anything to disprove that notion. North Dakota State comes in, they knock off CSU by the count of 22 to seven. Again, 22-7, the final score out in Fort Collins on Saturday night. It, you know, we talked about that mantra of don't be satisfied going into the game all week long. Was, was there a sense after the game maybe your kids were still feeling good, though, about that Colorado game? You know, I, 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 uh, you know, I know that they felt they didn't feel well about it at all about how they played and, uh, you know, should be embarrassed. And, you know, I, 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 I looked at them and I talked to them. You know, that at that point, there wasn't any reason other than to explain certain things and what it takes. And, uh, you know, whether they were still feeling a little bit of that, you know, 
love from the game before, you know, and I told him, I said, look, as we talked about last week, that was one game. This week is one game. Now, what do we do looking forward? And, and that's the key. I thought there were a couple of uh, key moments in the game. Uh, number one, boy, big momentum shifts back to back. You get a great fourth and one stop and then turn around and can't get it out of the end zone. I thought that was big. You know, it was. But it also says something about uh, what we did, not what they did. You know, we, we missed a block at a point of attack, and, and you just can't do that. And, uh, you know, I, I thought they did a great job in special teams. I thought that our special team's uh, effort um, was not where it needs to be. And, uh, you know, as, as you talk about all phases of the game, I thought they really got some momentum in the special teams that, that helped them, you know, propel them uh, along the way. I know you wanted to get that offense on track as you went into that third quarter of play, and then they come out. Uh, I think it was their second offensive possession, going a 20-play drive. I know it's got to be tough to, when your offense is on the sideline the entire quarter to, to get them going rubbed up. Yeah, 20-play drive. I mean, you know, that, that's hard to do. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and uh, yet, uh, you know, our defense, I thought, played hard. Uh, third downs, obviously, just getting off the field, yeah. and, and we need to figure out how to get a pass rush. Okay, we'll have more with the head coach, Jim McElwain, but first to timeout, we'll take you inside that Ram locker room when we come back here on the Ram Report.